So the Critical Care Nursing Program is a graduate certificate program. It was designed to provide a nurse with the necessary knowledge and skills to competently care for a patient population um, and work efficiently and effectively in a critical care environment, primarily uh, the intensive care unit. Uh, we will in the future hopefully have streams that will include emergency room uh, nursing and pediatric intensive care, but this is a program geared for the adult population. So graduates of the RN Critical Care Nursing Program will provide evidence-based care to the most vulnerable patients in a variety of adult critical care units. So the length of the program, it's two semesters. Those two semesters are um, each 14 weeks in duration. And they are, we, we have the program running full time because they, uh, in order to uh, be, um, set up for OSAP, so if students required OSAP to register, uh, we had to set the program up a, in a full-time manner. So you do, however, have a maximum of two years to complete the program. So students will enroll, and I'll, sh I'll walk you through um, the series of courses. Students will enroll, and the expectation is that they will, the students will be able to finish over two semesters. Um, but if extenuating circumstances, such as a pregnancy or a change in workplace or any anything else might come up, you do have a maximum of two years to complete the program in its entirety. The admission requirements, a nurse must be registered with the College of Nurses of Ontario as a registered nurse in order to be part of the program. And it is recommended that a, a nurse have recent acute care experience. So what will you learn while you're here with us at the pro with the program? Um, we're going to talk about the various standards. Those include uh, the national standards and the provincial standards. We think that we may have some students join us from out of province, and that'll be okay because they'll learn about the critical care standards of Ontario and the strategies in Ontario that are applicable in their home provinces. But we're also using the Canadian Association of Critical Care Nurse Standards as well. We'll use a systems approach in looking at disease processes, care, and treatment modalities. The resources that we're going to use is the textbook that you see here. That's the Erden text, the critical care nursing text. As part of your tuition, you'll be gifted a copy of the book from St. Lawrence College in e-format. So the electronic format of the textbook is included with your tuition. If you chose to purchase a hard copy, then that would be done at your own expense. And um, those books can be purchased in any of our bookstores and through online resources. All of the journal articles and the case studies that you'll review in each of the courses have been sourced already for you. There's nothing worse than spending time doing a literature search or looking for an article when you're trying to get your studying done. So we've sourced all of those for you and they'll be posted in each of the modules on the courses. Nurses who graduate from this program will be able to be employed in level two and three critical care units. Very few institutions in Ontario permit nurses to work in critical care areas without some form of certification in critical care. And this uh, graduate certificate program will, um, will provide that um, certification for nurses. So who are your facilitators? Well, I can say that I've been a critical care nurse for a really long time, and my dad has no idea today on his birthday that he is there on the screen. <laughs> uh, so sorry about your luck, dad. Uh, so what happens when you're married to an ICU nurse and your daughter is an ICU nurse? So uh, I've been passionate about critical care for a very long time. Um, and I worked in critical care medicine, in critical care nursing, uh, I have since uh, 2000, for 22 years. So uh, since 1997, when I took the critical care program here at St. Lawrence College many years ago. So I'll be the program coordinator and what my role as the coordinator has been thus far is to develop the program and the curriculum build it for folks to then enroll and you'll be taking the courses all online with the exception of your simulation experience and the crit and the practicum experience when you're moving at your own pace through those courses online you'll have a facilitator assigned to you so i'll be taking an opportunity to look at where you live what your experience is
connecting you with a facilitator who um, has the ability to um, meet your learning needs, to help you meet your own learning needs, and we'll move things forward that way.